Welcome to the University of Michigan Museum of Zoology and Herbarium at the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. Our collections include over 15 million specimens of plants and animals from around the world and collected over nearly two centuries. They are a new replaceable resource for studying mammals, birds, amphibians and reptiles, fishes, mollusks, mites, insects, and all kinds of plants and fungi. From naming species new to science to unraveling the mysteries of how biodiversity originates or understanding the impacts of climate change, our state-of-the-art facilities ensure our collections are available to researchers, students, and visitors to discover and understand biodiversity in all its complexity. Undergraduate and graduate students have unmatched opportunities to learn from and do research with the collections. Dozens of visitors, national and international, also come to study the collections each year. Partnerships across the university, with state and federal agencies, and with collaborators across the globe ensure that our collections continue to grow and remain an invaluable tool in understanding and protecting biodiversity at the University of Michigan and beyond. So you might wonder, why do we collect? To contribute to the global effort to share digitized specimens, data, and genetic resources, these specimens collected from the past and present can be used to answer the complex questions of our planet's future. To provide specimens and resources for students performing independent research projects. So that we can CT scan specimens to learn about their morphological traits and characteristics, as well as their evolution. To discover and to document the world's biodiversity. Here in the insect and arachnid collections, we study these smaller organisms uh, that make up the vast majority of species in the world and that are still very poorly known. For the scientists of tomorrow, so that they can do innovative research with technology that we can't even dream of today. To provide a reference repository of biodiversity. In the midst of a biodiversity loss crisis, some of the samples found in this room are no longer represented by living members of that species. Many of the medicines we use were originally found in plants and fungi and then synthesized. By preserving specimens of the original plants and fungi for future study, you may find the original version of medicines as well as new medicines. Because knowing the identity of the animal host is absolutely critical in stopping the next global pandemic. To take a snapshot of the species diversity that exists at a given place at a given time, the first step in any successful conservation effort is determining what it is you're actually protecting. And so we can use these specimens when we're making uh, decisions about policies to conserve habitats and species. To learn about our planet and protect its future. We collect. We collect. We collect. We collect. We collect.